Hello and hey, this is Zero Goken Reviews, and today we're looking at the Figma Slan. In other words, you get to see the first and probably last time the Donovan censorship is applied to an actual Berserk figure. Oh shit, I'm sorry. Slan, the God Hands Horny Finger. Name the whore princess of the Uterine Sea by the Skull Knight. Fuck you! Actually, why isn't there a Skull Knight and Zod Figma? Making those would be a lot more sensible than the God Hand. Uh, what the fuck? Back to Slan. Those of you who are familiar with 40k lore are probably thinking about something similarly named from that universe. Yes, the reptile fuckers called the Slan, who I believe- Also, I'm pretty sure what y'all were actually thinking about was Slanesh. Which, I mean, there are some parallels, but Slan is more of a really powerful horny person than an actual god who was fucked into existence by shitty space elves. Oh, uh, right, and uh, Conrad, the God Hands Pog Finger, sure. Disease Man is shaped like a louse and is pretty damn thick. He's in the God Hand, so he's probably a dick. I actually don't know, he hasn't shown up much. Uh, Kind of like boxes in my reviews. I mostly talk about how the figure looks, which in this case, this looks alright. But first of all, I'm kind of okay with her not having a gooch, because I cannot confirm to you if she even has one to begin with. It's almost always either hidden or not drawn in, unless I miss something. Although the movie version that this is based on does have a bush, so that's an inaccuracy. I do feel like there should also be a non-articulated version of this, considering how restrictive articulation is with this design. Was it really worth having this be articulated? I mean, I do like the option, but visually I'm left a little bit wanting. And more importantly, there aren't many options for non-articulated slam figures. All the Art of War stuff is horribly expensive and visually questionable, where the Prime 1 statue is more appropriately priced for the size, but is nonetheless also horribly expensive. And while I do agree with how detail is increased with the size, which is something I'll talk about more in a different video, I really don't like how this looks. She looks like a bitch, which is appropriate for Slan, but I think my issue with this is more attached to the realistic take they're going for here. I'm not getting a that's a pretty good take on the design, but rather a that's a pretty good cosplay of this character, which I think is a problem I have with a lot of realistic takes on characters. So in comparison, I like how this one looks the most out of the available options, but that's evidently a low bar. It feels weird saying this right after that, but I feel this looks a bit too anime, or maybe too Figma. Which for a Figma I think is fine, but more subjectively. I wish the facial features were more defined, like in the movie design that this is based on. I do think there's a middle ground here. The model in the Berserk Musou game isn't half bad. Honestly, a lot of the models in that game aren't bad either. It's just taken as a whole, the game looks like shit. Which isn't too far off from how it plays. Putting that aside, and putting this aside, the non-articulated Conrad looks a lot better, which isn't really what I'd want to say, but is the unfortunate truth. The paintwork here doesn't seem to be that much better, but the sculpt work doesn't look too anime or too figma, and is not compromised by being articulated, despite the articulation being quite limited and impractical. Let me just show you what I mean by that. Much like the articulation, the accessories offer limited options. You get not horny, maybe a little horny, and big horny. You also get a selection of interchangeable hand parts to match different situations, which might sound exciting, but hold your horses. Because of course it's a Figma, so it has a Figma <sighs> stand. What is more exciting is a special feature Conrad has. If you put him next to your ear, you can hear the ocean. Guts, Mazinger, loot it. Overall, it doesn't matter if this is good or not. This thing goes for at least 30k yen on Japanese sites, so good fucking luck if you want one. That's about it, thank you to the patrons, even if one of them is utterly moronic. Also, thank you to Foreign Lab Reviews for recording the figure shots, and I'll see y'all 
next time. Canonically, this is the horny finger.